Over the last couple of months, I've actually been doing something quite different, quite out of the box and quite radical. I've actually been cutting backwards. Yes, you heard right, backwards. Now, I know many of you are asking, why would you want to cut backwards and what does it achieve? Well, I've been finding that I've actually been able to cut out things quicker and also a bit neater. Now, I'm not saying this is the be all and end all and you can use it on all projects and you, you won't ever have to cut forwards again. But it has been working for me in cutting flowers out. So it's something I've been doing, like I said, for the last couple of months. And I just thought I would show you and demonstrate to you what I've actually been doing. So cutting forwards is just normal. I, I generally cut off the, the any large corners like that. And then I just do a normal cut, which is just going around. Now I've made some circles here. I haven't got them, uh, they're going to be uh, leaves. So I actually haven't worried about getting the circles perfectly because I don't want them to be perfectly. And I've just been cutting around as normal. And try to nip quite close together so you don't get big, uh, big pointy bits on your cutting. So I've been nipping quite close together. And you can, of course, grind it around, which, which can also work, but it depends on the finish you actually want. So that's what I end up with. And I'll just give that a little bit of a wipe off there of the texture. And then I usually go in and just do these points on here. I just go in and kind of like finite them a bit more so as they're not as pointy. And I go around and just clean it generally up. And it just takes a bit of time, but it's fine. I don't mind doing it. Just on areas where you just want to kind of clean it up. There you go. So you end up with something like that. Now let's cut this backwards. So again, I go in and I just take off any corners. This is where I cut backwards. So, and I, to be honest, I thought, hmm, cutting backwards, I won't easily be able to see the lines where I'm going to be cutting, but actually I do find it really quite, quite easy. So let's give it a whirl. Slow putt is actually turning the uh, stained glass quicker. There you go. We'll take off the line on that one. That one there is neater and that hasn't been cleaned. So let me just do, or rather it hasn't been finited yet with the little points. There's a couple little points on it, but nothing major, not like the other one had. And that's, whoop, and that's pretty good. So this is the one where I went backwards and this is the one where I went normal forwards. And I'm just finding the edge is cleaner. I'm able to go faster and uh, I just find it really works extremely well for me. Now I'm not saying, like I said earlier, it's going to work for everyone. I'm not saying, uh, you know, it's the be all and end all, but definitely, for me, over the last couple of months, I'm finding it works really well. It works a treat. So if you're looking at giving this a go and you've got an open mind, let me know what you think if you, once you try it out. 
drop a comment down in the comment section in the YouTube channel. Let me know your thoughts on it. Am I just imagining that it actually does a better job or does it really do a better job? So I'm looking forward to hearing your comments and seeing your thoughts on this process as well. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and if you saw value in it, please share it. And I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy.